So my kids woke up hungry and I'm going to make them a pancake breakfast. Here's how I do it. Okay, so today I'm making a pancake breakfast. I'm gonna make pancakes from scratch and I'll give you a recipe. <laughs> I'll say a recipe because it's loosely based off of another recipe, but I'm kind of changing the uh, quantities of ingredients. But I'm gonna start with three cups of all-purpose flour, three large eggs, two tablespoons, well, a tablespoon and a half of cooking oil, a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons. It's kind of like to your preference. I'll, I'll go with two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Here I have some whole milk, um, a tablespoon of baking powder and salt. And that should make a good batter. Here in my bowl, I'm going to add my three cups of all purpose flour. By the way, this is a half cup measure. <laughs> So that's one cup, two, and three. Okay, for the dry ingredients, I'm gonna add salt, say like a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, tablespoon of baking powder, give that a mix. One, two, three. One, actually I am gonna add two tablespoons. Get my vanilla extract. There we go. That was like a tablespoon, but you could add less if you don't want that much vanilla. Now I'm going to add my milk and mix everything together. I'm gonna to work with a cup of milk first and then I can already tell it's gonna need more. Another half cup. And pancake better does not have to be perfect. You just wanna, you know, mix your egg, mix your milk. But if there's lumps, that's fine. I may need more milk. I, I had, I started with two cups here, but we'll see. My assistant is coming with more milk. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just pour that back into the batter, or not back, but into the batter. And that should do the trick. So about two and a half cups of milk. Okay, so this is done. And it's gonna set for for another 15 minutes or so. I'm just gonna let it hang out because I have other things to do for this breakfast. And that's the pancake batter. Okay, so here I have a large baking sheet with a, a rack on top. And I'm going to, um, I'm gonna just cook the bacon in the oven. And I'm just going to line this on my baking sheet. I find this, a very easy method for making bacon if I'm doing other things and just do that I'm actually using thick cut bacon so it'll take longer to cook this I'm gonna cook this at um, 350 until it is uh, cooked through and crispy Okay, so this is ready for the oven. I'm going to place it even though the oven is not preheated at 350 degrees, which is fine. Um, it'll just render out more of the bacon fat if you put it in, start it in a cold oven. Okay. okay, so I have my pancake batter, it's been setting. I have some cooking oil for the griddle and I'm using my electric griddle today so I can do multiple pancakes at the same time. I'm gonna preheat this to like, uh, somewhere between like 325 is what I'm going to preheat this to. And if I need to crank up the heat or lower it, I'll just um, adjust it as I go. Okay, I'm going to carefully just kind of ladle these onto the griddle.
Okay, so with the pancakes, um, these pancakes are not super thick. Now, if you did want thicker pancakes, I'd say scale back on the milk, add an extra egg. That works. Um, but, you know, you want to get these little air bubbles kind of popping on the surface, and that'll indicate that it's probably close to time to give it a flip. Okay, cool. We can put all our pancakes on there. <laughs> so I think this one's ready to flip. <gasps> Perfect. So if you're wondering why I didn't make like super fluffy, extra thick pancakes today, believe it or not, my son doesn't like that. He says, he always tells me, I like normal pancakes, and I guess he meant something like this. So I guess in his eyes, he's getting normal pancakes, not fluffy. So these are almost done. I'm gonna let them cook on the second side and just repeat the process for this pancake breakfast that we're probably gonna eat for lunch as well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just put them on my platter. Okay, and now just, I'm gonna continue making pancakes. Okay, bacon looks really good. I'm gonna let it continue for another 10 minutes or so. But yeah, that's cooking well. Okay, the last of my pancakes are cooking, so I'm just gonna add some eggs onto the griddle. There we go. Pancake breakfast in the works. Okay, I'm gonna make some hot buttered syrup. You could use maple syrup. This is just pancake syrup from the store. And I have three quarters of a cup of syrup and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Uh, you know what, a tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to microwave this for 20 seconds until the butter melts and that is gonna be my warmed hot buttered syrup. Okay, so pancake breakfast in full effect. So here it is. The bacon is done. My cat's getting on my nerves. <laughs> so yeah, pancake breakfast. So here are the eggs and um, we're ready to eat. And my hot buttered syrup is ready. So let's make a plate. Okay, so this is what our plate looks like. And here's the hot buttered syrup gonna go and just let's pour some syrup on the pancakes yum and that's what we're having for breakfast pancake breakfast so good I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it and thanks for watching